What up? I'm Swall Dog. I like to build cool stuff. Today, working on turbo stuff. Just got back from High Tech Turbo, picked up some swag and a bunch of parts. Let me show you what I got going on here. We've got a rebuild kit for an HE351CW. We've got a rebuild kit for a WH1C. And then we've actually got a core assembly for a HE351CW. I've got this HE351. I've got it all taken apart. I was actually going to rebuild it, but the wheels were a little bit, a little bit hammered. So there was some, a little bit of scarring on here when you cleaned it up. Picked this sucker up used and it was pretty, pretty hammered. It looked like the compressor wheel got a little bit dusted on the edges here. So we just decided to get a whole core assembly for this turbo. What I've done, I've already modified some stuff on the compressor housing. Normally the wastegate, there's a flange right here that's cast into it that the, the, the wastegate mounts to. I cut that off, cleaned up some of the other casting marks and uh, blasted it. And we've actually also got a plug here that we're gonna need to modify to plug up where the sensor goes. And then this is the exhaust housing for the HE351 and we've modified this as well. We've drilled out the wastegate port as big as it'll go. Polished it up inside and we also polished up in here, ported it out to match the gasket and then cleaned up in here where the wastegate goes and try to make it a smooth transition, no sharp edges to prevent any cracking. And then we also made this mount. We had this wastegate actuator. We actually cut the weld off of here because this is normally faced 90 degrees this way so that the wastegate, when it goes to the compressor housing, that's how it is factory. So we Cut that out, turned it 90 degrees, re-welded it, and then we welded these bosses on here so that we can mount the wastegate right here. And we'll have to get that hooked up and adjusted. So that's what we're gonna do to that turbo, and then same kind of thing to this one, except we didn't buy, we just bought a rebuild kit for this. So we're going to take this apart. Hopefully it's in not too bad of a shape. Well, we're going to rebuild this turbo. And we uh, did the same kind of thing. We cleaned up the compressor housing on this a little bit. Just blasted it basically. This, this one had actually already been polished. Whoever had it before had taken off some of the casting marks. We might machine a bevel on the inside of this. Give it a nice little transition. Not really necessary, but just for fun. And then we did a bunch of work on this turbine housing as well. Cleaned it up, blasted it. We drilled out this wastegate port, about as big as you can go. It's about one inch. That's what we drilled that out to. And then we also drilled out between these two so that it wastegates from both sides. Some people think that that will slow turbo spool. Some people say it, it helps wastegate. I always, I've always done it. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong to do it, but it, I've always had good luck with it, drilling it out so it, uh, when the wastegate opens, it releases pressure on both sides from the one through three cylinders and four, five, and six. So I've just always done it that way and had real good luck with it. We also, port matched where the flange goes as well so we ported and polished that so it matches up real good with the flange so we're gonna get both of these turbos rebuilt put back together and we're actually gonna be building two compound setups with these turbos not together but they're both gonna be the high pressure turbo um, in a compound application and we're going to pair them both with 
HX60, 76 millimeter HX60. So let's start getting to work. All right, so something about these HE351s, they have, you can see on this center section, they have these roll pins uh, right there. You can kind of see it right there. And there's one on both sides between the exhaust housing and the center section and the compressor housing and what it does is there's a little hole here and a little hole here you flip this over there's a hole right there basically to keep that uh, all lined up oriented a certain way but since we've already modified the exhaust housing to use this wastegate actuator we're not going to be using the wastegate actuator that mounts to the compressor housing right here so we're just going to take those roll pins out and that way we can orient it wherever we want. Since we're using it for a compound setup anyways, we're going to have to change that to configure to fit best. So I've already got the back one pulled out right there. So 